Hi guys, so today we're gonna look at repairing a Lenovo N22 Chromebook keyboard. So for this, you're going to need just a regular flathead, okay, a Phillips, a small Phillips, and I have a serrated curved edge blade. This is our replacement keyboard. I bought it off Amazon for like, what was it, 12 bucks, something like that, probably cheaper plus or minus a bit. So what you first want to do is you want to take your flathead and pry those off. Some of them will not be as easy as that. Okay. those off take your Phillips and just go around to every single Three. single screw hole and, and then make sure you got them all out Okay, so there's only, okay, so there's two I think I got to pull out. So, make sure not to lose those, because those are quite important. And, okay, then with the remaining two, sometimes you just have to take a screwdriver and pop them out, if they're complete, not out completely, which sometimes that is the case. And if they, don't, there we go, see like that one came out. Okay, and then, Next one is right over here, which I guess I forgot to use. Um, I do. It's out, and it's right there. So, let's see. So now that we have this, all the screws out. Okay, what you want to do is flip the Chromebook over, and you want to take your flathead or guitar pick or whatever you want to use and just kind of use it as a pry. That's a little bit there. So see that? And then just pry up. Be careful, this could bite your hands. It's happened to me before. And it has hurt. So, see, and there's like little pop tabs that'll pop up. And once you get pretty much a corner started, It'll get pretty easy. There we go. Okay, so now it's up. And now what you wanna do is take your flathead and release both of these and pull them out of their slots. Okay, now what you can do is shut your shut the device and move it off into wherever you have space. Because now what we're gonna be doing is mainly just this. All Now all that we're doing is just this. So first off, what you want to do, okay, see what is that? Yes. So first off, what you want to do is pull this tape right here. You can pull it off both ways. I'm pulling it off this way this time. And so now, since that's up, you want to re remove your this plastic protective cover but do not throw it away because it goes back on the bottom once you're done 
Oh, I guess I need to pull it back on. And keep this. Do not get rid of it. It's very important. Okay, now that you have that off, take your knife or screwdriver or whatever you have available and just start picking at them. And be careful. So now that we have that, kind of press down on your keyboard a little bit. First, your metal part should come off just like this. And that's perfectly normal with how it comes off. Just be careful not to bend these front, front ones up here because these front ones are very, very weak. There we go, see, bang, it's done. Now, see, it's what it looks like. Now this is what the bottom of the keyboard looks like, and as I said, there's going to be, let me put this away, we do not need our knife anymore, unless there's some few things that didn't come out. But now what you do is be, I guess you can be careful, but you just pretty much push up in like parts of the keyboard. And okay, so now that, that is done, oh! Okay, so now that, that is done, let's see, where is it? It's not called there anymore. Bang, bang, bang. Where is it called at? There we go. Now I said be careful because it will bend your keyboard like that. But, so we don't throw our, our school doesn't throw ours away because a lot of the kids pull off the keys for some er unearthly reason. So we keep these and use them at, or use our replacement keys because they're still good under here. It's just something down here to do with them, kind of the brain. So set this, set the keyboard off to the side, like I just did. Now, take this current keyboard, your new one, make sure it's your new one, and you set it here, and part of match, put it where the old old circles were, kind of lock it, um, or what keeps it in. So next is the metal piece here, that kind of, let's see, it goes this way. And it kind of go, it goes in the same spots as it did before. Make sure to pull back your new keyboard um, thing, and make sure your trackpad does not get caught onto it. Your trackpad cable, because that happened to me once, and it stunk because I didn't realize it until I had already put the whole thing back together. Okay, and now you kind of do the same thing you do with the new keyboard. You push it all in, and that's about. Oh wait, there we go. So that one get, needs to go in. That one needs to go under. This one can go in in a minute. Kind of make sure that they all get in there. And kind of put your tape back on. There, so make sure it's all back in. And then we'll put this away because there's no need to have it. And then you take your a screwdriver and try to get this. If you bench your front one, like I did, try to get it. And sorry if my big hand's getting in the way and try to push it back down on top of the plastic here. Okay, even though it didn't take, it's not that big of a deal. It'll come to sometime. Now, when I said don't throw away your plastic piece of paper, or plastic, or not plastic, your plastic sticky paper that went on the bottom of it. First off, if you have any of these little circle things, try to pull them off. And second of all, reapply where it kind of matches. So there's that little, where the coolant, so I think it's coolant. So it kind of fit, they kind of fit their hole. You kind of need to just be sit back on the right spot like this. So, oops, so that needs to go, there we go. So now like this. Okay, now that you have this done, grab your Chromebook. Now here comes the tricky part, or the tricky part for me because I have such big hands. Where's that Chromebook at? That's right. Grab your Chromebook. Okay. Put your insert your okay. keyboard first. Hold on. Let's see what's the bet? Yeah. Insert your keyboard and power off the device. Or you don't have to. I'm doing it for the sake of I forgot to grab a Chromebook charger when I brought this back to my office. There we go. Okay, so I'm powering off the device. 
and everything looks good on keyboard front. Sometimes it'll flop a little loose, but that's only because some of them didn't get tightened in completely. So what you want to do is insert your keyboard and your trackpad, what are they called, wires, into their slots on the motherboard. Granted, for me, it's a pain in the butt. So sometimes I have to go grab an external flash or flashlight. Or like, I tr see like that, it just goes in. You just feel it kind of click in and be very, very careful. Very careful so you don't have to repeat the process again whenever you insert this one. And when this one's a way easier because it's a lot bigger. And you know, you'll just kind of feel it go in and shove it in. Now what I do before I place everything back in place is I power it on and do a test. Our school has a repair ticket in its thing, in a in its domain. Why um, they had to turn on those accessibility settings, and that they might have been on before. So what I do is I just go run through the keys, make sure that things. So work. what you want to do, since it works, is just kind of shut it off. So shut it off if you want. You don't have to. I'm just doing it like again for the sake of battery life. And you want to just push on all these until you get a click. I started the whichever side I want, pretty much. I don't have a specific side I start. Just make sure you get the clip. Mm -hmm. But yeah, these keyboards do sit lower, so I'm done. Okay, what you want to do now is take all your screws that you took out and place them back in. It's pretty much the exact opposite of what you did in the beginning. And I don't think there's a specific order screws go in. If there is, you well, know, I didn't put them in that order. <laughs> So now that we have that done, what we want to do is just keep going around and putting these back in. The smaller ones go up front, the thin ones I mean. Okay, kind of match them up. Okay, now that you have this done, you've successfully installed a new N20, Lenovo N22 Chromebook. Everything looks nice, everything looks good. Hope you guys enjoyed, subscribe when you're new, and thanks so much for watching. I'll be sure to get more videos out. Thank you.